Today, we're delving into the realm of GTA 6 Online, the upcoming multiplayer aspect of Rockstar Games' Grand Theft Auto 6. We'll dissect all the insights gathered from leaks back in 2022, alongside an intriguing anti-cheat patent filed by Rockstar's parent company, Take-Two Interactive. This patent offers a glimpse into how the forthcoming online experience aims to ensure a safer environment compared to the current GTA Online. Furthermore, we'll explore a novel method Rockstar plans to implement in GTA 6 for managing online sessions. This innovation promises to infuse the expansive world of GTA 6 with a livelier atmosphere, enriching the player's immersion in its intricacies. Undoubtedly, GTA Online stands as a titan in the realm of multiplayer gaming. Its enduring popularity has significantly contributed to the ongoing success of GTA 5 over the past 11 years. This success owes much to Rockstar's astute strategy, crafting a robust core game with GTA 5 and then supplementing it with regular content updates for the online segment. By continually introducing new weapons, vehicles and attire, Rockstar keeps players engaged and motivated to accumulate in-game currency. As we eagerly anticipate the official unveiling of GTA 6, players are hopeful that it will address prevalent issues plaguing the current iteration. Chief among these concerns is the rampant presence of modders and cheaters, whose actions not only disrupt gameplay, but also pose security risks by unlawfully accessing personal data. To tackle this issue, Rockstar has devised a fresh approach set to debut in GTA 6. This method aims to bolster the game's security measures. The patent responsible for this enhancement is titled Method and Apparatus for Preventing Cheating in a Video Game Environment by Providing Obfuscated Game Variables. Filed by Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar's parent company, in 2019, this patent outlines a system and method aimed at curbing cheating within video game environments. By disguising game variables in memory, the patent seeks to thwart attempts by players to monitor and manipulate values such as health, ammunition, and in-game currency for unfair advantages. Traditionally, developers combat such exploits by encrypting, coding, or obfuscating the location of these values, alongside implementing integrity checks to detect unauthorized modifications. However, these methods have drawbacks, as they often impact game performance and inadvertently expose variable locations to savvy attackers. Rockstar's innovation lies in masking the whereabouts of these variables, offering a more robust defense against cheating in GTA 6's online. I won't delve into the technical intricacies, but essentially, Rockstar employs a clever and seemingly straightforward technique to conceal these values. This makes it considerably tougher for attackers to pinpoint their locations. While the concept of masking values may seem straightforward, its effectiveness in bolstering stability and enhancing security for the future online segment is paramount. Moving forward, let's turn our attention to the next patent, titled System and Method for Session Management in a Multiplayer Network Gaming Environment. Filed by T2 Interactive in 2021, this patent addresses Disclosed Our Systems and Methods for Session Management. The disclosed system allows for seamless merging and splitting of network sessions in a multiplayer network gaming environment. Seamless session management allows dynamic movement of players in a virtual world during gameplay without unnecessary loading and or stalling. As the players in the virtual world move around, the management of active game sessions can be improved to affect a more realistic perceived population. In this patent, Rockstar highlights the crucial role of online components in the success of many games, citing GTA Online as an example. They emphasize the challenges of managing network technology and resources to create a vibrant virtual world. Traditional MMO games often face limitations in session management, with some opting for single sessions that may restrict the depth of content due to increasing player counts. Others utilize multiple sessions, which can hinder feasibility, especially in peer-to-peer -peer exchanges like in GTA Online. To address these issues, Rockstar has developed a pioneering system for seamless session management. This innovative approach enables fluid splitting and merging of network sessions, allowing for a more immersive virtual world free from hardware and software constraints. Allowing players from different sessions, but in the same virtual area of the map, for example, to be merged into a single session. This allows players from previously different sessions to come across one another, thereby making the virtual world seem more populated. As an additional advantage, seamless session merging handles many network failures silently. In prior art systems, a player who loses network connectivity 
can be kicked out of a session and may not be able to rejoin because they are in a session by themselves. However, the Session Management System 100 allows for a disconnected player to exist in a session by themselves for a predetermined period before they are reconnected to the remaining players in the session or can be joined with another session. The method begins with monitoring a triggering event. In some embodiments, the triggering event defines when to merge two sessions or split a single session. For example, when the object, virtual players, are in the same session, move physically apart from another. The object by a predetermined virtual distance, this triggers the session management system to split the session into two different sessions. Likewise, if objects from two different sessions are within a predetermined virtual distance from one another, the session management system and merge the sessions to allow interaction between objects of the respective sessions. Other instances of monitored triggering events encompass various player and object actions, including changes in position or visibility, player entries and exits from the virtual world, and game-related activities like mission completions or tutorial beginnings. Rockstar's solution ensures seamless management of these events, preventing inconsistencies such as duplicated objects during session transitions. This approach accounts for factors like virtual geography, team management, networking resources, and social relationships to maintain continuity across sessions. For example, once a session is split, there can be two sessions, each with their own distinct copy of an object. Avoiding this split can avoid players that intentionally duplicate valuable objects to exploit virtual game economics. If these two sessions were to later merge, there can then be two identical objects in the same session. In this manner, the session management system advantageously avoids object duplication when two players are merged following a split. I trust that I've conveyed this information clearly. The implementation of this new system in GTA 6 promises to enhance the game's atmosphere, ensuring a more bustling world while maintaining a high level of detail throughout. Now, let's delve into what we've learned about GTA Online from the leaks of 2022. Multiplayer. In the bottom left in one of the clips, one can see there are two players in a 30-player lobby. This is because there are two slots for spectators, similar to GTA Online and Red Dead Online. There is also a reference to the script host. After that, there is a code which is either the session host or game master. Based on the information gathered, it seems probable that peer-to-peer -peer connections and 30-player lobbies will make a comeback in GTA 6 Online, where we're going to explore 30 confirmed features of GTA 6 that Rockstar Games has officially talked about. But first, a quick heads up. The info we're sharing comes from a security breach and leak of GTA 6 pre-alpha footage. Rockstar Games acknowledged this leak on their official Twitter. Just to be clear, we won't be showing any gameplay footage due to possible copyright issues, but we'll definitely dive into these cool features. Feature 1. Looks aren't just for show. The reactions of non-playable characters, NPCs in GTA 6, are pretty fascinating. How clean your character is and their overall appearance affect how these in-game characters respond to you. It adds a cool layer to the game considering how NPCs react differently based on your character's appearance. Feature 2. Let's rev up the excitement with some serious vehicle action. Imagine cruising through the Everglades in a top-notch hovercraft. That's just one of the personal rides available right from the start. And there's more, like taking the wheel of a bold 1970 Ford Ranchero GT in striking red and black, owned by a character named Jason. Feature 3. Here's another level of immersion. Each character has their own stuff. So, when you're playing as Jason, you can tap into Lucia's stash and vice versa. Say Jason's low on assault rifle bullets. If you're close to Lucia, you can ask her for some. It opens up a bunch of possibilities for teamwork and sharing resources in the game. Feature 4. For all you die-hard GTA fans, there's a new clothing store in town called Arches. It's got a fresh collection to amp up your character style. Feature 5. Let's talk graphics. In GTA 6, the clothes are seriously detailed. Wrinkles, dirt marks, and even sweat. Paying so much attention to clothing details makes the characters look super real, adding a ton of authenticity and making the game more immersive. Feature 6. While exploring the vast game world of GTA 6, you'll see a seamless mix of modern vehicles in urban areas and older ones in rural spots like the Everglades. It gives that cool GTA vibe, whether you're cruising in a flashy city car or taking a nostalgic drive in the countryside. GTA 6 has a bunch of wheels to fit whatever mood you're in. Feature 7. During certain heists, there's a timer showing when the cops will show up. 
Some think it's a developer thing, but it could mean players need to plan their heists well, syncing with the police response for a perfect score. That'd definitely add an exciting twist. Feature 8. I'm buzzing about this one. GTA 6 will feature a massive aquarium. Yes, you heard that right. Players get to explore an aquarium within the game, adding a cool new element to the gameplay. Feature 9. There's a limit on inventory space. Players can't stockpile an endless number of items. A smart move would involve rummaging through crates and storage spots at the docks to earn cash and gather valuable stuff, spicing up the gameplay. Feature 10. Here's something cool. In GTA 6, you're not stuck with your character's right side view like in GTA 5. Following Red Dead Redemption's lead, players can freely switch their character's preferred shoulder for a better view. It also changes which hand your character uses for weapons, making gameplay more immersive. Feature 11. GTA 6 adds a touch of reality with a dynamic day-night cycle. Shops don't stay open 24 7 anymore. Some close at night and reopen during the day, making the whole experience more immersive. At night, the city changes vibe, less traffic, and a different feel altogether. Feature 12. Adding to the mix are special abilities, somewhat like what we saw in Red Dead Redemption 2. From leaked gameplay, it looks like Jason has a unique skill. He can spot valuable stuff in the surroundings. They light up like hidden treasures, adding a whole new twist to the game. Feature 13. Let's dive into some of the confirmed stuff in GTA 6. It's quite a mix. There are spear guns, bolt-action sniper rifles, and a bunch of golf clubs, wedges, irons, drivers. Also, players can use a crowbar to open containers and grab valuable stuff. There's more. Smoke grenades, flashbangs, golf balls, and tracker jammers to dodge the cops. Snatching fancy cars might need special tools like the immobilizer bypass. Loads of choices to make gameplay super immersive and fun. Feature 14. Moving on to the awesome in-game places we've seen. There's a bunch. Tennis courts, a huge stadium, and even a museum. All with interactive insides. It's bringing back the exploration vibe we loved in GTA 4, and that's got us hyped for GTA 6. Feature 15. In a cool scene during a diner robbery, a non-playable character, NPC, was visibly relieved when the cops showed up, saying, Finally, thank heavens. This shows how smart the AI is in GTA 6, and it's a sign of Rockstar's attention to detail. Feature 16. Get ready for a huge and diverse map to roam around. GTA 6 covers the whole shebang of Vice City and its surroundings, offering tons to explore. You've got the bustling city, scenic beachfronts, Everglades-like grass rivers, the charm of Florida Keys, and the quaint Port Gellhorn. Port Gellhorn even gets its own police department, showing different areas with their own rules, kind of like what we saw in Red Dead Redemption 2. So, where's your first stop in GTA 6? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Feature 17. Time for a tour of interiors in GTA 6. There's a a bunch of places waiting to be discovered. One cool spot making a comeback is Escobar International Airport, giving us those Vice City vibes. Exploring the airport could unlock a load of side missions, opening up endless possibilities for adventures. Feature 18. Tourism's a big deal in GTA 6, making the game world feel alive. You'll stumble upon a clever take on a famous theme park, kinda like Disney World. It's a thrilling spot to dive into, and get this, there's even the International Space Station. Rockstar's really going all out to make GTA 6 an awesome experience. Feature 19. The characters you'll meet in GTA 6 have had some major upgrades. They come in all shapes and sizes, some towering and impressive, others more on the average or smaller side. This variety really brings the in-game city to life, making it feel more realistic. Rockstar's definitely set a high standard in gaming with this, and I can't wait to dive into this amazing world they've created. Feature 20 new gameplay features are here, and one that stands out is using assault rifles while inside a vehicle. It's going to shake up how players handle combat. Feature 21 money in GTA 6 works differently. You don't just magically get more cash in your bank account after robbing a store. Instead, you physically grab the cash from the store counter using a button. It makes the whole experience more real and interactive. Feature 22. Now this is wild. The vehicle customization options in GTA 6 are something else. When you get into a vehicle, hit the left D-pad for the vehicle options menu. You can tweak the seat, fix the steering wheel, and even jazz up the interior. There's talk that this might be limited to developers, but I'm hoping it's for everyone in the final game. Feature 23. There's a ton more to do in GTA 6. The game amps up interaction by letting you handle money, USB drives, weapons, food, and different clothes, giving you more control over the world. Feature 24 hats off to hat customization. In GTA 6, you can style your hat in different ways showing off your fashion taste. It might seem small, but it makes your character really stand out. Feature 25. Here's a neat twist. When you're on the run and hijack a ride, your criminal description changes a bit, leaving out specific car details. This tricks witnesses and stops them from telling the cops about your getaway car. Smart move to stay hidden and adds a tactical side to the game. Feature 26. The big news? GTA 6 is officially scheduled to hit stores. Feature 27. Something fun and quirky. You can actually interact with gumball machines in the game and snag some 
and gumballs. It's a small thing, but it adds a nice touch of reality to the game. Feature 28. Talking about the cops and what's happening in the game world. During gameplay, I saw the police doing traffic stops, DUI tests, and even searching vehicles. Also, the in-game map shows random NPC AI car accidents, and the cops rush in to handle these, making the virtual world feel genuinely chaotic. Feature 29. Time to talk weapons. GTA 6 brings a massive range of guns, from pistols to heavy artillery. With so many options, the action stays intense, making sure you're armed for any situation. Feature 30 GTA 6 is bringing in an inventory system, like what we saw in Red Dead Redemption 2. Looks like Lucia's got a sports bag hinting at that. We'll delve into the upcoming changes to the AI systems in Grand Theft Auto 6 by Rockstar. We'll explore a patent that introduces a groundbreaking system unprecedented in gaming, promising a revolutionary shift in how AI operates within games. Additionally, we'll delve into other intricacies concerning AI and non-playable characters in GTA 6, including insights from a job listing at Rockstar's new LA studio, shedding light on NPC dialogue. We'll also examine NPC behaviors in response to their environment and their integration with social media, enhancing immersion and complexity in player interactions. Let's kick off with Rockstar's innovative AI system set to debut in Grand Theft Auto 6. Described by Rockstar as the most significant and immersive evolution of the series, the emphasis on immersion is evident in their patent filings. We'll focus on one particularly intriguing patent, unveiling a new system poised to revolutionize AI in gaming. Considering Rockstar's commitment to delivering the most immersive experience yet, it's evident that NPCs and AI will play pivotal roles. This patent specifically pertains to animations in GTA 6, aptly named System and Method for Virtual Character Locomotion. Back in 2020, Rockstar Games unveiled an innovative system that will debut in GTA 6. Now the details might sound a bit complex, but essentially, this patent outlines a fresh approach to animating characters and imbuing them with dynamic intelligence. These characters will now possess a kind of virtual brain, allowing them to react to their environment, other NPCs, weather, and even their mood, influencing their animations on the fly. Before this advancement, each character's animation had to be painstakingly recorded in a studio equipped with motion capture technology. This process involved attaching markers to actors' suits and compiling animations into what's called an animation tree. This method was resource-intensive, limiting the variety of animations Rockstar could include in their games. For instance, in GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, each NPC had its own animation tree, containing all their actions. Animation trees essentially stack animations, blending them together seamlessly and transitioning between them based based on player input and in-game conditions. Additionally, motion matching, a feature seen in GTA 5 and RDR 2, automatically selects animations based on player actions and the surrounding environment. This results in fluid and lifelike character movements, such as running while shooting, creating a more immersive experience for players. With GTA 6, Rockstar introduces an innovative system designed to optimize resources and streamline animation data. This approach allows for more content within the game while offering a broader array of animations. It shares similarities with motion matching but diverges in its utilization of a new framework. Rather than relying on conventional animation trees, character animations will be predominantly data-driven, adapting dynamically to environmental cues. These animations will be categorized into distinct motion types, representing unique character styles. Each character will possess a designated motion type, enhancing the depth and realism of their movements. As an illustration, let's consider various states such as tired, injured, and normal, each corresponding to a set of animations. Additionally, every character will possess their own blackboard, a virtual representation of their current state and surroundings. This blackboard stores crucial data including the character's condition, location, weather, temperature, and more. Utilizing this information, the game's code dynamically selects appropriate animations or styles for the character, enhancing their responsiveness to the virtual world. For instance, in the Ocean Drive scene from the trailer, we observe a character seated on the sidewalk. As a group of NPCs pass by, he attentively observes them, reacting accordingly to their presence. With this system, the gameplay experience is poised to become even more immersive. It will prioritize environmental data, including the presence of other NPCs and vehicles, alongside factors influencing the character's mood. Consequently, NPCs will exhibit previously unseen levels of reactivity, shifting focus to a noteworthy job listing from Rockstar's recruitment opportunities. Last year, Rockstar opened a new studio in Los Angeles, from what we know, it's purely a new motion capture studio, so they have another one besides the one in New York, mainly to record NPC dialogue probably. This discovery confirms that. I checked Rockstar's careers page just now, 
and there's a job offer at Rockstar LA for associate writer pedestrian and ambient dialogue. This could indicate that they are still writing and recording GTA 6 NPC dialogue right now. This suggests that the development team is currently engaged in scripting and recording NPC dialogue for GTA 6. You can find the specific responsibilities outlined in the job description provided. It says, write funny, character-driven, and unique dialogue for our ambient population. Work with key stakeholders to understand and support the technical requirements for player-led, dialogue-based interactions with our ambient population. Provide exciting dialogue that works within the strict constraints of a complex game system. Undertake self-motivated research and leverage that research to enrich your writing. Understand and match the tone of our games. This underscores the commitment of Rockstar to ensuring that GTA 6 remains true to its franchise roots. Aligning NPC dialogue with the established GTA universe bodes well for the game's authenticity. Shifting gears to another aspect related to NPCs, let's delve into how they'll integrate with social media. Not only will NPCs exhibit more lifelike behaviors and interactions with their surroundings, but they'll also engage with social media platforms, a novel addition to Grand Theft Auto 6. Here's a rundown of the phones observed. NPCs will be equipped with various phone models, as evident from both images and the trailer. Notably, NPCs will actively engage with their phones, which boast fully functional cameras and displays, an improvement over GTA V. For instance, in a scene from the trailer set on Ocean Drive, an NPC can be observed capturing photos or videos with their phone. The displayed imagery accurately reflects the NPC's point of view, suggesting the possibility for NPCs to record and share in-game content on the virtual social media platforms. Let's delve into an intriguing Reddit post that delves into this aspect further. Here's why NPC recorded TikToks aren't as far-fetched as you think. A common speculation point I see on this subreddit is the potential for NPC recorded TikToks for the game's social media that was teased in the trailer. Like someone filming you, commit a crime and you later seeing that post online. Many have dismissed this as far-fetched in terms of development complexity, but I wanted to discuss why it's plausible. Firstly, I think we've already seen a system that could serve as a base for building a TikTok-like system, the Instant Replay, Rockstar Editor from GTA 5. Given this game is more of a sandbox with physics rather than a competitive shooter, where replay systems are typically seen, it's even more impressive to consider this system in GTA 5. It accurately records and replays events just as they happened, with every car, ragdoll, etc. Moving just as it did originally in the moment. The tech behind this isn't actually recording like a camera and replaying, it's really just recreating it, which again makes it impressive how much time Rockstar put into it, making it accurate. To me, this feels like what could be used as a base for a system where NPCs record their own videos from their perspective. This next thing is something I could have sworn I remember hearing long ago, but can't seem to find, and was hoping someone on here remembers too. Back before GTA 5's launch, there were details revealed through various interviews, magazines, etc., and I remember hearing or reading something about being able to watch your own crimes on Weasel News on the TV. This obviously didn't end up in the game, but there is a slight remnant of it in GTA Online. Am I the only one who remembers this being mentioned for single player though? Maybe my mind is playing tricks on me. Anyways, this last point is actually from the trailer. At the 033 mark, in this scene we see a lot of NPCs hanging out on a busy street, and one NPC in particular recording on his phone. As we know Rockstar's trailers are always all in engine, no CGI cinematics, so I think it's worth noting that it looks as if his screen is accurately showing what he's looking at. My screenshot is zoomed in. But if you got hat mark on the trailer, you can see it matches up to what he's looking up at. Could this be a hint towards said system, or just a nice detail? Rockstar has a reputation for delivering what they showcase in their trailers, often exceeding expectations. Their dedication to enhancing NPC interactions in GTA 6 underscores their commitment to creating a vibrant and authentic game world. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on these developments. Hey, big news for all you GTA fans out there. GTA 6 is shaking things up with some major changes in the series. We've got a ton of fascinating info about the game that you absolutely need to hear. Just a heads up, the details we've got are from leaked footage online, but unfortunately we can't provide any links or show it. Nevertheless, there's a bunch of exciting stuff to discuss, like new animals, AI enhancements, RPG elements, and more. Let's jump right in. Fact 1. Excitingly, the Malibu Club and Ocean View Hotel make a return in GTA 
GTA 6. Events like Lost at Sea Island Camp and Lost Plane suggest potential island scenarios akin to Guarma from a previous installment. Fact 2. While exploring, players encounter a myriad of wildlife alligators, bears, boars, dogs, snakes, raccoons, birds, frogs, bald cats, and rodents. Symbols marking plants and toxic waste are also scattered throughout the game. Fact 3. In the game, keep an eye out for the Scarface crime scene, possibly an easter egg paying homage to Tony Montana. There's also a murder mystery named Missing Tourists. Additionally, spots designated for campers hint at the possibility of owning a camper van in the future. Fact 4 GTA 6 offers an array of side activities, from backyard wrestling and racing to UFO events and beach bonfires. Even seemingly small actions, like picking up cans from the ground, are significant. Jason and Lucia, the main characters, possess special abilities akin to those seen in GTA 5. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. Fact 5. Jason and Lucia's safe house serves as a motel, a central hub for their activities. The game's world features various street gangs, each with its distinct vibe. Characters exhibit different personalities, including romantic, chaotic romantic, cool, pragmatic chaotic, and pragmatic cool. Fact 6. Gameplay enhancements in GTA 6 introduce the option to use zip ties on NPCs for stealth mechanics, alongside the ability to carry bodies, enriching the depth of stealth elements. Fact 7. The gunplay in GTA 6 mirrors, the mechanic seen in Red Dead Redemption 2 and Max Payne 3. It might be worth exploring those games before GTA 6's release if you haven't already. And activities? GTA 6 offers an abundance, from fishing and wild golf to basketball, football, and soccer. There are gyms for training, a yacht club, and even a racetrack. Fact 8. Prepare for a contemporary setting, post-GTA 5 events. The game meticulously recreates numerous Miami landmarks, such as a grand tennis court, a bustling football stadium, and a lively amphitheater. The map encompasses an airport and a functional tram system with an airport stop. And that's not all. The Florida Keys and a swampy region named Grass Rivers, reminiscent of the Everglades, are part of the game. Players can navigate swamp boats in this area. Fact 9, GTA 6 boasts a diverse arsenal. From melee options like golf clubs, pool cues, crowbars, and bats, to a spectrum of firearms ranging from pistols to snipers and RPGs, the weapon selection is extensive. You can even personalize how your character handles weapons. Additionally, there's an assortment of throwable items like grenades, molotovs, and and yes, even golf balls. Fact 10. Get ready for some seriously upgraded NPC interactions. Now, you'll have choices such as threatening, robbing, shooting, or restraining them. Some missions will even involve gesture-based actions, taking a cue from Red Dead Redemption 2. Car damage has been ramped up for realism, and the interior detailing is insanely intricate, complete with functional dashboards. Fact 11 weapons are undergoing a transformation in GTA 6, drawing inspiration from Red Dead Redemption 2. Instead of a sprawling weapon wheel, you'll have specific slots for small firearms, melee weapons, rifles, and shotguns. No more unlimited weapons, but you can drop and pick them up along the way. Fact 12. During development, there was a glimpse of Arthur Morgan's hat, although its inclusion in the final game remains uncertain. Players now have the option to surrender to the police during a heist, introducing a thrilling twist. Police response time has been revamped to feel more authentic, featuring a timer that varies based on the severity of the crime. Murder gets a quicker response than robbery. GTA 6 caps the maximum wanted level at 5 stars, and a 6 star level seems highly unlikely in the current gameplay. Fact 13. Let's focus on the characters. GTA 6 introduces us to two main protagonists, Jason, portrayed by Brian Zampella, and Lucia, played by Alexandra C. Echevari, marking the franchise's first playable female character. You can seamlessly switch between them, and they also happen to be a couple, drawing inspiration from the legendary duo Bonnie and Clyde. Fact 14. Clothing in the game behaves in a remarkably realistic manner. You can accessorize with items like sunglasses, watches, wristbands, and hats, each with various wear styles. The attention to detail is impressive, with sweat, dirt, and wrinkles adding to the overall realism. Fact 15. Internally referred to as Project Americas, GTA 6 had a codename during its development akin to GTA 5, Rush, and Red Dead Redemption 2, Bonnier. Originally, the plan was for a larger map encompassing North and South America, but Rockstar's approach changes scaled it down. Nonetheless, the game promises to deliver a memorable experience with its features and diverse locations. Fact 16. The game incorporates RPG elements like weight and muscle management, highlighted in the Spool Couple Workout Challenge. Leaked footage revealed Jason and Lucia's apartments. For instance, Jason's place includes a bathtub for in-game baths. Fact 17. 
2016, Rockstar plans to continuously introduce new missions and cities post GTA 6's launch. Whether this expansion is for online or story mode remains unclarified. Expect an enhanced cover system, surpassing what we've seen in other Rockstar games. Fact 18. Don't overlook the Kingston Hotel. It's a bustling spot with pool parties and live music, adding vibrancy to GTA 6's world. Fact 19. A significant enhancement in GTA 6 revolves around NPC behavior. NPCs come in varied sizes and shapes, and their reactions feel incredibly authentic. Wave a gun around and nearby folks might understandably panic. The game also features an intricate injury system, including concussions. Fact 20. Now, let's delve into the stunning visuals and exciting new features. Characters will naturally grow facial hair over time in GTA 6. Moreover, the game world will introduce a social platform called WhatsApp, resembling a playful version of WhatsApp. Excitingly for fans, spoof versions of social media platforms like Life Invader, Facebook, Bleeder, Twitter, and Snapmatic, Instagram, are making a comeback. Fact 21. Let's focus on our main characters, Jason and Lucia, each with their own inventory and a shared one. Your inventory can hold a variety of items like wine, soda, and fruit. Additionally, there's a duffel bag system facilitating easy transportation of supplies and weapons. Fact 22. Rockstar approaches storytelling in GTA 6 with greater caution, avoiding offensive jokes, and being considerate about groups that might feel targeted. The narrative unfolds through chapters, akin to Red Dead Redemption 2's structure. Fact 23 robberies take center stage in GTA 6, spanning from significant heists to smaller scores. There are easy scores like targeting bingo body shops, burnout skirts at Cafe Caraway, clothing stores, food trucks, massage parlors, and more. Moreover, the inclusion of robbing shipping containers elevates the thrill to a whole new level. Fact 24 gameplay takes a significant leap. For the first time in GTA, players can crouch and go prone, introducing tactical elements. RPG elements also come into play, hinting at hunger mechanics and animal interactions, expanding the game's depth. Fact 25 GTA 6's map officially surpasses the size of GTA 5. This time the spotlight is on Vice City, an area inspired by Miami and its surroundings, offering players a vast and diverse landscape. There's even a lake featured in one of the videos hinting at a significant part of Florida being included in the game. Fact 26. Hold tight, the jetpack may makes its return. Shooting from cars is also part of the thrill, adding an extra layer of excitement. Embrace yourself. GTA 6 introduces 18 brand new vehicles to the franchise. Fact 27. In GTA 6, players will encounter various events, including random muggings and NPC-hosted yard sales. There are hints at riding events, which could potentially mean horse riding possibly involving the Red Dead Redemption 2 team. Fact 28. Police AI has undergone significant improvements compared to the previous game. Instead of blindly rushing in, they exhibit more realistic and intelligent behavior. If you commit a crime and escape in a vehicle, cops will note down the specific vehicle and license plate, making evasion more challenging. Fact 29. Let's delve into the notable emphasis on indoor locations in GTA 6. There's a plethora of diverse interiors to explore. Motels, hotels, restaurants, pawn shops, supermarkets, fast food joints, gun stores, shooting ranges, and the Vice City metro station. Moreover, they've added functional elevators to enhance the immersive experience. Interestingly, there's a risk of players getting banned from stores, adding an intriguing dimension to the gameplay. Fact 30. New Arsenal Alert. The spear gun makes its debut, allowing players to shoot underwater spears at their targets. Moreover, there's an array of gear at your disposal, such as binoculars, cutoff tools, flashlights, immobilizer bypasses, slim gyms, USB drives, tasers, zip ties, and auto dialers. 